Hello everyone, welcome to Program Insider. In this video, we will create how to add products or items to a shopping cart list using the browser's local storage. We only use JavaScript, there is no backend or any server side. On the top, we have fixed header where we scroll the page down, the header will be retained at the top. And as the left side of the header, we have logo. Next to the logo, we have navigation link. As the right side of the header, we have a shopping cart link. On the top of shopping cart link, we have the number that indicates the total number of items in our shopping cart list. Now the number is zero, and in our shopping cart, there is no item. Over here we have about 20 items and each item has uh, item name, item price and the add to cart button. If I click on the add to cart button of the item, this item will be added to the shopping cart list and the number is increased by one. Okay, let's do it. Click on the add to cart button and now the number is increased by one. And uh, in our shopping cart list, the one item in cart. And the total price is the same with the item price. And if I click on this item again, there is no change because it's already added once. Okay, let's add multiple items, eyeglass, Rolex watch is too expensive, around 2,000 bucks. Add it, MacBook, and the leaf shirt. We have five items in our shopping cart. The click on is five, five items in cart. And the total price also increased. This is about 3,000 bucks. And to remove an item from the shopping cart list, just hit the button remove. Now we have four items in cart. Again, hit it, click, we have two items, click, one item, and the total price is automatically reduced. Click on the remove button, now there is no item in our shopping cart list. And also the number over here is zero. It indicates that there is no item in our shopping cart list. Okay, what happened when we click the Add to Cart button? To see that, right click, inspect, and uh, in here, application, and under storage, we have local storage, and there is the URL. This URL is our project URL. So click on it, delete this one and now add this item to the shopping cart click on it now I have one item in our shopping cart and over here we have the value of the item this number indicates that the unique ID of this item let's add multiple items click on this now three Three is indicates that the unique ID of this item. We have two items in our shopping cart and in our local storage in our browser, we have two item IDs. And I click on this one and uh, this one. Now we have five items in our shopping cart and the five ID of those items. And when I click on this shopping cart icon, it's automatically read the, the item IDs from the local storage of the browser and the display in our shopping cart list. Click on it. Now it's read this five items ID and the display in our shopping cart list. We have five items and when I click on the remove, it automatically removes the 
items ID from their local storage. Click on it. Now there is four pro item IDs. Click on it. Now three items in card and uh, also three items in three IDs in our local storage. Click on it. Two, two items in card and the two IDs in our local storage. The one item in card and the one ID of the item in our local storage. Remove it. Now there is no item in our shopping list and there is no ID in our local storage. This is the concept behind how to add item to shopping cart list. I will show you everything from scratch step by step. It is so easy. And the source code link is in the description below. You can check it out. Okay, let's get to the tutorial. My HTML file, I already linked the style to CSS and I also link it to phoneawesome.com to use a icon from that uh, website. Over here, first create the header. The header and uh, the left item of the header and the logo shopping and the nav linkers I have four nav linkers about purchase and the pages for the right item of the header just type right item and uh, spawn total item and save it okay I have the logo and the nav linkers this is total item is by default zero and then let's add the cart icon in in fontauster.com just search for cart and uh, here is totally free copy the icon and paste over it okay here the icon is I don't and I finish for header just let's get to the style processes and uh, I already imported my favorite form family poppins and also decorate in body selector let's type the default styles I don't need any margin zero padding zero and the box size will be border box this means the width of the border and the padding is included into the original width and the height of the box. And the list style type none is used to remove those bullets. Just save it and now it's remove. Okay. Change the background color of the body, background color. Hashtag f8 f8 and f8 is gray okay let's add some style for the header header position fix it 
top zero left zero which hundred percent and the padding one em is around sixteen pixel and the displays flex display flex stack items horizontally by default and the add justify content space between and the align items align vertically center and the background color white Lift item display flex display flex and uh, sorry display grid and uh, I want to give grid template columns one far and the two far now the this one is the logo and the, this one is the navigation. This is a navigation width is two times to the logo width. And the gap one em. Add some style for logo. Copy. Paste. Color blue and the font weight 900 is the extra bolt and the font size 1.6 rem is around 28 pixel and add some stuff for nav nav copy paste display flex and the stack items horizontally by default and the align items center for nav linkers copy and the paste over here mark your right Marking from right 1.5 em now it's good 0.5 em font weight 500 medium bolt cursor should be pointer to indicate that the links are clickable And add over effect for nav linkers. Nav link over. And I don't want to do much things, just reduce the obesity. Obesity 0.5. Yeah, and add some transition, transition or five. 0.5 second is good. Zoom out. It has. Alright. Okay. Let's add some stuff for the right item. Copy and paste. Position relative because I want to give position absolute for the number total item so it should be the right item should be position relative and the total item position absolute Position absolute 
the total item will not be out of the right item because I give the position relative for the parent and the position absolute for the child. So the total item will not be out of the parent box. So position absolute for the top negative 10 pixel and uh, right negative 3 pixel and the full weight font weight will be uh, 600 it's medium bold and uh, I want to be I want to make the uh, number on the top of the card and this is the index 100 color blue Think 50. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Um, I finished the style for header. Okay, let's create items card. HTML item cards. Create over here item container. This container contains all items. And then item container create card. In card, first create card image container. In card image, insert image image the pack png an image folder there are some images and uh, after the card image create the item description item disk item disk for item disk for create item disk container and put the item disk inside the item disk container and then item disk type item name Name, just name it backpack and uh, item price $29. Save it. And uh, after the item disk, create add to cart and uh, add copy the icon, cart icon, and uh, paste over here. To give it unique class cart. Okay, we finished and uh, let's give some styles. Item container. container. Copy and paste. The width is Nine percent of the screen size and the maximum use one 
1,400 and the margin also and then let's give some style for curved copy paste width 200 height 310 parting 5 em and the background color white okay the image is too huge let's add fabric for the some style for the image we use the image container and the wheels 65% of the container and the height 200 pixel and the margin also. the image the image is 100% okay okay now the image is inside the card and uh, this back to the item container margin from top 7 pm and the margin from bottom 2 am and the display grid and the column gap is around 10 pixel row gap pixel the grid template one far one far justify justify items center and the align items center center for the cards box border radius 10 pixel and the box shadow 0 0 there is no you don't need to any offset horizontally or vertically the 15 pixel is the blurness amount and the 3 pixels is the spread of the blurness Here's the shadow color. Zero and the obesity one. Okay, it's really nice. And the display. Display flex. In the flex direction. Column one. And the align content space between this adds some style for card image the image container display flex the justify content center align items center it put the image as the center of the container Okay, let's uh, add some style for item description container. Display flex the stack items horizontally and the justify content 
is in between the nine items at the end the post those items at the end of the flex or the continue now to put at the end in the margin top one pm this is the gap between the image and the description okay let's reduce the font size of item name item name font size one rvm and the margin from bottom 0.3 okay item price copy and the paste over here font weight medium let's start the add to cart button add to cart width 35 pixel height 35 pixel display flex uh, justify content center align item center to put the cart icon as the center of the container and the background color hashtag db db div okay border that is 15 percent it makes full circle and now it's fully circuit The cursor should be pointer, but I need the background when I hover over the R2 cart button. So let's add over effect for R2 cart over on the cart. And the paste over it give some transition or a second is an out. Yeah, that's good. The give some padding one e m. Okay, it's really good. And the duplicate cards. Copy, paste, 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 paste. Okay, now it's good. But when we expand the screen size, it's not fully responsive. To make it responsive, add to media, add to media. And uh, minimum width 615 pixel for pixel dot item for item container. As the screen size 615, want to the item three item in a row. Now three item in a row. Now 
when the screen size is 900 pixel you want to make it four items and uh, put the screen size above 1100 I want to make the item will be five items in a row okay it's really nice it's fully responsive okay we have finished the style for the item cards the only thing left regarding html and the css is creating a looping card list container to create that your html file type the card container in card container we have a closed link Close. and then next to the close link we have the header header or the title the current title no item and I can give the class name card title Save it. And over here. And then next to the no item or the card title, create the container contains every single shopping cartes, shopping lists each cart item container inside each cart item container you have each container or each cart each cart and so each card we have card image and it gives the class name card image over here this creates a description of the card title, price, and the remove button. Name it the card disk. And H1 for the card item name. For the price. the remove button Perhaps. please add the style for the cart container the cart container will be fixed position Fix it on top zero and we want to stick to the right side and the right zero and the height of the container will be 100 
the full screen and the width 18% of maximum width only 500 the background color similar to the body color and the display flex then display flex and the flex direction column one the align items center to start the close link so just pick the class name and paste over here close cut margin from bottom we start around 1 in 1 in and the capsule will be pointer the font size 1.1 rem and the border button to picture solid on a black and the margin top one here point five is enough okay the list are the card title card title font size 1.5 rem color below and the phone weight is traveled and hand drive okay then for each card or for each list of the shopping cart adds this style with is 97 percent first list adds the style for the image cart selects the cart image which one with 100 percent okay this back to the each cart display grid and the grid template columns one far in the five far align items align items as a center gap between items five five peaks sorry over here okay five peaks background color white margin in all side five e and the box shadow Zero, zero, there is no offset. Three peaks, blameless amount in the one peaks. The shadow suite. And over here, the shadow color. And uh, give the border radius, border radius. Ten peaks. This good. And the height of each card, each list of the shopping cart will be 
100 px in the padding of the container 1.5 ea and the uh, cart item name reduce the font size to 1 rem cart item price Point to it, five hundred is medium. But the cut disk, it means the space from the image. Left margin, margin left, two em. yeah okay let's give them a style for the remove button remove border now nah. i don't want the default border of the button the background color blue and the padding 0.5 em font size 29 rem yes good the text color white and the font weight bold and the second so should be pointer and the border radius 5 pigs and the margin from the top margin top 0.3 EA I want to give the custom border, custom border to pick the border width, sort it, end up blue, the border color. And I want to give the hover effect for the remove button, hover effect, the color will be black. Black background color transparent, you don't need that. And the okay, are some transition transition or two set point two second is enough, I think. or three okay over here we need the total price in html file like okay, so each cart item container create a container for total price total price container and uh, Total to be give the ID to that price. Okay, add background color for the total price container. background below with 100 percent okay text online center 
starting 1 a.m. and the color text color white border radius border radius 10 pixel margin margin around 25 em and I reduce the width and I add margin auto to put at the center okay okay we are done over here the only thing left is adding javascript for start javascript it's better to give some box shadow for the cart container and let's find cart container over here box shadow box shadow zero zero you don't need offsets 15 pegs for blurness amount 15 pegs for spread shadow spread and uh, this one is the shadow color this is now it's really cool they give uh, padding 1 m and uh, remove this margin top for yeah, close link okay it's really nice uh, to start with javascript i already created the script.js javascript file and uh, link it with my HTML file by using this script source path. And the first thing we're gonna do is creating this the toggle between the cart container. When we click on this close link, this cart container will be hidden. When we click the cart icon in the header, this cart container will be shown. To do that, let's add some ID for the close and the for the cart icon. The cart icon of her add ID shopping cart and uh, bring to the script.js linker target the document with element per id and the shopping cards again add the id for the close link the close link id Close cart copy and again target the document document dot get element by ID and close cart. What we gonna do to toggle between this cart container? We're gonna create a new style show on cart container by default we gonna we need this cart container to be hidden so to do that we give the wheels zero the wheels zero wheels yeah, it's zero width, but content is an overlay. And uh, add over here over overflow, overflow, you know. 
and again padding zero and over it to show the card container we need the width 18 percent adding is 1m and even we don't need the box shadow for the hidden card container that we put over here and when we click on this card icon this class will be added to the card container this means by default the card container is hidden like this when we click on this card icon this card container will be like this it's be shown so put in over here and add or click listener or event when we click on the shopping cart what are we gonna need shopping cart dot on click and i forget something i should target this cart container and add id cart container and target over here corners cart container document the gate element by id cart container later i i add that class to the cart container when i click on the shopping cart mean this one i gonna add cart container class list and add this class when i click on this the cart container will be shown and when i click on the close link this cart container should be hidden to do that close cart on click copy this one and paste just change the add to remove click when we click on the close should be here when we click on the cart icon and let's give the cursor pointer for the cart icon let's give cars cursor pointer yeah and the list gives some transition for the cart container over transition or 0.5 second and it is an out yeah now we are going to do change the items of here as you see these items are similar similar in name price and the image but i have prepared over here item to chase and i have prepared 20 different items in array 4 we have an array named products now products we have 20 
object is which object has id product name product price and the product image and each item has different ids to start this from one and uh, up to 20 up to 20 you can add up to you want but i have prepared 20 item to demonstrate to you and uh, how we're gonna use this item.js to use it we're gonna import this item.js in our script.js and uh, we use don't forget to give export where you import in other file and the import product is from which file it's item to js so items don't forget to give your js an extension and save it when we look in our console log in our console log it says import statement statement outside a module cannot use import statement outside a module this means to use this import module you should add over here type module which is this attribute in our html file then let's take a look in our console log there is no error okay let's see let us see the products files in our console log this 20 items in object form for the ids separate array id index 0 index 1 up to index 19 and uh, in, in in every object we have id product image name and the price and that by trade through this object is we can display different items in our web page to do that we can use map function but i gonna use the for loop before start to iterate i should target the item container and let's give id over here item container honest your command dot get element get element by id when I, I treat through these items and I add those items into item container and uh, let's type over here for loop let the initial index 0 and the index laser I know this, this product is an array and uh, I can get the length of the array but just by typing product is dot links and the index plus plus is increase this index is started from zero and uh, increase up to product links and uh, let's okay over here we iterate through the products array to do that let's say Honest, we have ID, product name, product price, product name, product price. Those names are should be similar to the object key. So, product is index. Index. Let us look the console log ID, product name product price and product image now console look shown us id 
the first item ID, this one, and the hospital backpack, product name, and the product price, and the product image. I trace through each item up to the last item. We're going to show this data over here. To do that, just delete this one and the item container over here in our HTML. Last card and over here, copy this card. They are of two cards, just delete the rest. So I have one card and the just cut and the paste over here. And add the plus sign after each string is. The plus sign. Okay. Now this shown us the preface file. So we're gonna change the image name by substitute this product image in here. Now product images are changed and let's change the product item name item name use this product name change prices product price now each item has different name different price and a different image for each item i want to give different id so to do that just say oh here id add add to cart add to cart and every item has unique id by using that id i can give different id for each items add to cart and I give the product id okay let's look over inside inspect and element in our body item container we have 20 cards each card has each card has this one the first one is add to cart one the second second one add to cart two and this is third Add to cart three. We give for each item different ID. So by using that that ID, we can target the add to cart button over here. To target that again, we're gonna use the over loop over here. We're gonna use the over loop. This over loop is the same with this because we're gonna iterate through the same product. So use the same for loop and the add document just to target those IDs document dot get element by ID. Then we know that the prefix is add to cart for each ID add to cart change to add to cart and this start the for loop for initial for one. And I give this one the card and use here index document document dot get element for each ID we're gonna add on click even listener on click and I'll, uh, let's check first colors the index When I click on this icon, add to cart button, it shows the item ID. 
Sorry, I forget is the last thing. Click on it. It shows me the item ID. ID one. This one is ID four. The last one should be ID twenty. Yeah, it's the ID twenty. So by using this unique ID, we're gonna store the unique ID on our local storage browser. To store this on local storage browser, just use local storage, see item. Cursed items and use the index. Okay, click on this. Click one. I clicked on the first item. I'm gonna click on the iClass on the MacBook. And then let's go check the local storage of the browser. Over here, over here, it only stores the last ID of the item. So to fix this, just create an array. Over here, is create an array. With this honest cursed items, and by using this array, you're gonna add over here. First, before we store on the local storage of the browser, we're gonna store on the array. Then we store that array on our local storage. To use that, copy the array's name, array dot, and shift. A shift uses to add values to an array and add index value to our first items. Just before. I'll uh, go check it. When we click on this, we have the first ID in our array. Click on the second one. Now we have two IDs in our cart items array. And just select the last one. And then we have the twin the IDs. The last item. And we have three values in our cart items. So we're gonna store this array in our local storage just by changing the index to cart items. Application, just delete and refresh it. And I click add this item to lo the local storage of the browser. Click on it. Now the, the items ID is stored in our local storage. And uh, add this store. And uh, now we have four items stored in our browser local storage. So we're going to show the number of ID is stored in our local storage of the browser over here. Now we have four items ID. So this number should be indicate, indicated over here. So to do that, that gets the total item. Just delete this one. And I give the ID name total item. The overhead commerce. Document create element by ID. And over here, the total item dot in our text. And we're going to use the cart items. Array dot link is not equal to null. The total item will be the cart items length. Length. And if it, if the cart item length is null, 
the total item will be zero. Okay, over here, zero, our cart items is null. But we will refresh the page, the cart items array should be read the local storage of the browser. It should first, it should first read the cart items in, in our local storage of the browser. It reads the local storage of the browser in the display over here. What is that? the local storage to get item is the local storage name cart items now if it's the local storage or this one is with it's null it's not null it shows the array cart items this one so this one is a string so we're going to change this string to our array form to by using this one local storage and split at commas yeah they are separated by comma and by split on the commas we change it to array now it's going to change when the local storage this one is is not null they're going to change this string to array if it's null the array will be null okay over here over here is the the local storage is not null so it changes this cart items or the items id in our local storage to array and it changes to array and is stored in our cart items and by this total item is with the cart items language and the display over here we have four items in our cart or we have four items in our local storage browser over here if i delete this one manually and save it now the number is decreased by one. If I click on this add to cart button, it stored my items ID on local storage browser. Again, when I click on this one, it again stored in local storage browser. To prevent this one, let's say over here, check if the items ID is exist in local storage browser. If the cart items, the cart items or this array includes, includes the index, this one, this index, index, this one, if the, this index is included in cart items, it return true. If it is not exist in cart items, it return false. So if this index is included in cart items and the call to cart false, if it's not exist, if it's not exist, add or store the index or the cart items in our local storage. If it exists, it's not stored in our local storage. Let's check it. application and delete this form and add sorry delete and refresh add now we have one items id the number is one and again click on it it's not stored again because it is to add it to local storage once but when we click on this the number over here is not increased. But if I refresh the page, it shows me there is one item now shopping cart. So over here, total item, total item, dot inner, focus, first, first, 
items root lengths okay when we add over here okay delete this one click on this one now the number is increased instantly click on this one now the number is increased three we have three number indicated over here and then we have three items id in our local storage and we can't add similar items twice this one is already added because it's the number one the items id one is indicate this item when i click over it there is no change because it is added once okay when we click on this cart icon let me show you when we click on this cart icon it automatically reads this items id from local storage and the display over here so to do that let us target variable we're gonna need the variable we're gonna need is the the give the id cost item copy and the target of here cost item document dot get the number id and the total price oh, total price minus total price document dot get the number id and uh, this total price container you play over here document create element by age and each cart item container Let's give the ID for here. The cart item continue. Document locate number ID over here. I want to hide this total price and uh, my style do CSS display no okay and I create a function create a function for display card display display item in cart and the call in shopping cart and click evaluation to check it a last clicked I click over here click the workers first when we click on this cart icon we're gonna check the existence of items id in our local storage to check that local storage local storage and get item and the key name the key name if the cart item value is not null it returns true and if it's null it returns false 
let's check it again it's not null and null click over it's not null because there is items id in our local storage then if it's not null we're gonna delete it delete it when we click when we click the cart icon it should be show if there we have three items it is now local storage so it should be shown as of here the number of items we have in our shopping cart so we're gonna target the cart title we have declared over here and first want inner inner focus and we're gonna use the links of the cart items because the cart items links indicate that's the number of items we have in our shopping cart to links but the cart items links always starts from one it counts from one but so i'm gonna reduce by one and uh, next is the number item items in cart Two items in cart. Okay, let's use the this one. We have three items in cart, so it should be similar with this number. So three items in our cart. But if there is no items ID in our local storage, it will should show us no items and let you check that delete it and then refresh the page This is we should add our oh, height minus one. Okay, when we click, there is no items because there is there is no items ID in our local storage. With the local storage not enough, it should also show us the total price. So when we click on this, we have no items. So there is no total price but when i add one item add the second item and it should show me the total price so to do that i'm going to use the, the total price container so over here i give it the display name in style to css but over here i'm gonna give the style style dot display Cart block total price is show me total price, but when there is no item in our local store browser, they again hide the total price container. So now I have two items in cart that show me the total price when i delete when i delete this one and refresh there is no item hide the total price container okay so when we click on the shop cart icon there is the items ID from the local storage and the display over here. If the local storage 
it's not null there is a value so we should change that value into i let's add we have no items add these four items and then let's change this cart items value so let's, let's create new array first name it cart array local storage those data item from this cart items copy and paste and split at comma split at comma and they store as re4 alert this one to check it first re click over the cart icon now we have four three two one to check it the type type of oh yeah is object so it changes the string to the to an object so it changes to the array let me check the value again We are, when we click on the cart icon, it reads the item IDs from the local storage. These IDs are come from the item.js from this file. So we're gonna iterate through this item.js and only display the ID similar to this item's ID or the items stored on local storage of the browser. To do that first, I treat you the products. It means this one. I treat you products. Now we're going to use the map function. It's similar to the for loop. And uh, item is console log. This item on the console log click on the cart icon now it's shown us every items in our item.js so we're gonna need only the items that the id is stored on the local storage of the browser ID of the item, product name, product price of the item, and the product image. Product image from the item. Now we're going to check it if. if if the project the art array includes includes ID so this means if this ID is included in cart array it will display it checks first before the display it checks the ID is exist in cart array. This cart array is the items ID stored on the local storage of the browser. First, in, it check in local storage of the browser and display only the items ID is stored in local storage. And over here, we are now we're gonna do the same thing we have then over here. We, over here we go, we are target item container and add cards in item container now we're gonna add we're gonna target this each item card container over here over here and in our html and 
cast this one and paste over it and change the product the item image by using this product image and check over it it's not it's not working i focus the plus sign over here just add the plus sign and now it works if I add another item, let's leave it shared. Now we have five items. Okay, add for the each cart item container the overflow scroll. Close this one. Add overflow in y direction scroll. Now the left shirt is here, but now it duplicate every items in our shopping cart list because the problem is when we click on the shopping cart icon, it should be starts from clearing the each cart item container. To do this, just put over here, put over here, and. When we click on the cart icon, always starts from clearing the each cart item container. Then it adds each cart in our the container. So click on this. No, there is only single items. There is no duplication. This as uh, this T-shirt, we have six item. And this uh, t shirt is added to the shopping cart list. Okay, but the total price is not increased instantly. Over here, just to increase that, just over here, target the total price. Target the total price and the inner HTML and Add the product price and the uh, store in total price. We're going to use the total price of total price in the text. This means the value of this one. It raises the previous price and add it to the and it increase by adding on the previous price. So the total price. So call to the total price in a text plus each product price. This one. But it's not working. Let's check it. Over here is not working because these prices are stored as a string for so we should change to the number change this to number and again this to number because the product price is stored as string 4 and it should be changed to the number And, uh, okay.
Now we are changes the, the string to number. Okay, it's not work. Not okay. This specifies the initial to zero. Now it's workers. This add further items. This is why. Now the total price is increase, and now we can't uh, remove an item yet. So to do that, let's create the function or remove button. After the display item in cart, create over here, connect to work, do this. For each item, we should give unique ID. To do that, we're going to use the previous step. Just say is ID and the remove. And they use the, the item ID to differentiate. Item ID use the product ID. Over here, type it and the list check. Right click in here. Because container, click on it in each cart. Item container, cut disk. Now uh, it's remove one. And uh, for the it second item, we have removed two. For the last item, we have removed 16. So this all items has different unique IDs. So by targeting that, we remove item from the shopping cart. Okay, let's create the function, the on remove function. On remove, first, on remove button. First, get the Items ID from the local storage. Item in cart and the local storage. Don't get item cart items. And then we're gonna change this items ID from the local storage into array items in. In cart array item in cart and split on commas and by using this item cart array we add click event listener for each remove button. So by using this remove for we're gonna use the for loop the initial value will be zero and uh, under the index this is laser item first an array dot length 
and the index plus plus okay by using this so now we, we should get the values from the item in cart array so to get that the remove item cart item in cart array and the index this means when the index is zero it's shown as the 16 items are id when the index is one it's shown as the 10 the items id 10 that it increases like that so by using the removed item variable you're gonna add the click effect document dot get element by id and remove this remove it the id of this one remove remove and the, we're going to use the removed item this removed item indicate that it indicates that over here each card item each card it indicates that the Christine this means the removed item so this one the is 10 so this removed item is indicate that the number after the remove prefix and add the on click event to remove the items we should get the index of that item this means const item index card item in cart array dot index of the removed item so the removed item this means this return is the removed item is when the removed item is 16 it returns the item index is 0 with the removed item is 10 it returns the in item index is 1 and if, if the removed item is 1 it in returns the index the item index 7 so by using this item index we're gonna delete or remove that item from the shopping cart list so first we remove that item index from the cart items array this means cart items plus item index and the one this item index is uh, indicate the index of the removed item one is how much item will be removed i only want to remove one item then so it remove the item from the uh, cart items and then we're gonna store the cart items on local storage we're gonna update by using that cart item sorry this item it should be the same with this the key name and the card items okay now we're gonna check it this item id is one so when i click on the remove button the value of one to be delete or removed but before i do that i should hold this function in display item card on the last is on this function i call the on remove button over here okay when i click on this 
remove now the one item ID is removed but when I click again it's not working because I should call this display item in cart in our over here in our on remove button okay when I click on this remove button this item ID is I think is two and this is two number is should be removed click now it's removed click now I have five items click on it four items three items two items the one items ID and the one items in cart click on it remove now there is no items in my shopping cart list and there is no item IDs in local storage okay let's do it again but when I remove the, the items the number of high should be changed or should be decreased so to do that just put a item in our text cart should be should be equal to the cart items length cart item length and this one now I have zero values or okay add this item now I have one item in shopping cart and it should be one item IDs in local storage of the folder yeah okay add another t-shirt sleeper and Rolex watch and hoodie I have four items in my shopping cart and it uh, should be five items ID my local storage data browser there is five items ID in my local storage data browser and the five and that indicates and it shows me five items in my shopping cart list when i click on this one it erases automatically from the local storage with the browser and the display in my shopping cart list click on it i have five items in cart and the total price is around two thousand bucks click on this to remove it click remove click click Click, click. Now there is no items in my shopping cart list, and uh, there is no items ID, I think, in my local storage. Let's check it. There is no items ID in my local storage. So, this is all about. I finished the project.